Well, Aaron, Valencia Road is closed for a minimum of two weeks, but could be closed longer once the Public Works Department begins to repair it. It's small but carries a heavy load. 1,600 cars travel on Valencia Road daily. For many drivers, their destination is Valencia Elementary School. It's become much more difficult to get them to school. And with two kids, um, trying to juggle two schedules. Valencia Road is closed between Trout Gulch Road and Aptos School Road for a minimum of two weeks due to an unstable culvert and its uncertain stability. Appearing there are also cracks on it. That culvert is also settled, it was built Probably before World War II, it's a corrugated steel pipe, uh, and so that has gone down and the roadway on top of it has gone down, which means that all the dirt in between is probably moving. Parents must now drive around the closure using an alternative route at Freedom Boulevard. It's a 25-minute drive now, where it probably used to be like, I don't know, a 10 at the most. Adding two traffic roads, Valencia Road was closed in both directions so crews could remove this tree. They're concerned because it's such a substantial tree that it's going to cause possible sliding. So they just, as a preventative measure, want to make sure that all of us are out safely in the event that the road becomes blocked. With so many cars being diverted, Freedom Boulevard is seeing about a 25% increase in traffic. That's because of all the commuters, all the parents dropping their kids off at school. So what we're asking the public to do and people who are on Valencia, plan ahead, leave 10 minutes early, be uh, mindful that there could be additional road closures or traffic hazards. And the storm damage to Santa Cruz County roads is so severe that Congresswoman Anna Eshoo is scheduled to tour the San Lorenzo Valley tomorrow. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.